Lauren, head to Christmas racing. You've got Vatavar heading towards the Group 1 Zabil Classic. His weight for age form has been first class. How's he prepared for this one? Yeah, good. Uh, really happy with his um, performance in the Jardin on uh, Melbourne Cup Day. He obviously it was a mile was too short, but we needed the run, and he hit the line beautifully. And you know that he was looking for the extra, extra ground there. So uh, comes a Bill Classic day. You know that 2,000 metres should be ideal for him. Yeah, how's his training been in the lead up to this? Yeah, good. His gallop on on Monday this week was um, exceptional. Really happy with him. So. Yep, we've, we'll have another gallop early next week and that should be perfect leading up to the Zabiel. He's a horse who has expe exceeded your expectations through this preparation, hasn't he? Yes, exactly. Like When he came from France, he had his knee issues and vets didn't give us too much hope um, going forward, but uh, we've just looked after him and... You know, we started on wet tracks and we thought, you know, coming from France, he could be a wet track horse and, and his form in France was on soft soft track. So, um, yeah, and then we th we had to go on, on a couple of decent tracks. Obviously, the Livermore was the first, first attempt and um, blew us away. So we've just kept him up as well as looking after him at the same time. So, yeah. so that being said, yeah, what sort of expectations do you go into as a Bill Classic with? Well, I hope he's a, a live chance, definitely, to finish first three. Okay, uh, on the same card, you've got Viggo Winner heading towards the, the listed Hallmark handicap. Uh, how's he going? Yeah, no, uh, he's going really well. He had a, a lovely performance uh, last week at the at Tirapa in the J-Swap. He got a little bit further back than we liked, uh, but hit the line beautifully and, yeah, we thought, I think, going back to the 12, 1,400-metre sprint races would probably be more suitable to him than trying to stretch him out over the mile. OK, what about the drop back from the 14 from last Saturday to the 12 of Boxing Day? How will he cope with that? I I think he'll he'll be fine. He train the way he trains, um, it it'll suit him fine. Yeah, no, I had no no issues with the dropping back to 12. Okay, and uh, you didn't nominate him for the railway, so uh, no chance of the backup. When will we see him again post Boxing Day? Um, depends how he runs Boxing Day. We could maybe throw a late nom in for the Telegraph uh, down in Wellington. He's run well down there before, so. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a few options for him uh, in the new year. OK, and uh, talking the carnival, City of Auckland Cup as well, you've got uh, Maceto and uh, Grand Bouquet perhaps heading in that direction. Uh, what do you want to see from them in, in the lead-up? Yes, Maceto, he'll, he'll definitely go to the City of Auckland. He ran a super race in the uh, Waikato Cup last week. Uh, Vinny gave him a beautiful ride and we weren't... We were expecting him to run a good race, but not that good because he's just had a 1,200 metre trial going straight into a 2,400 metre race. So, um, no, uh, should should go quite nicely in the city of Auckland, I would imagine. And He's come through that uh, Waikato Cup run, OK? Yes, very well. And Vinny will stay with him, I think. So, um, And then Grand Bouquet, we're just weighing up our options. She's got the city of Auckland Cup, or we can go something um, down the line, like something like the Martin Cup. OK. Uh, in the new year, so we'll make a decision probably early next week on her.